what is an expanded octet? It's a Lewis structure where the center element has more bonds and or lone pairs than would be predicted by the octet rule. That means there's more than eight electrons around that center atom as it bonds in a molecule. It's possible with elements that are typically nonmetals and have to have atomic number of 15 or greater. Some examples include sulfur, phosphorus, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and xenon. When these molecules are formed, sometimes they're called hypervalent, meaning more than uh, the valence electrons that are typical. Last but not least, they create trigonal bipyramidal electron geometries. That's uh, this one. They also create octahedral geometries. That's this one. The center atom hybridizes its sp and d orbitals to make these shapes. So let's go over two examples quickly. So here are those two examples I wanted to work with you. I've already drawn the dot structure for sulfur hexafluoride, which has got 48 valence, 24 pairs. And that center sulfur has 12 electrons bonded to these fluorides or fluorines. And that makes it have six pairs total, which again is much higher than the octet rule in this case, okay? Then the next thing is the triiodide ion. I thought I'd work this one with you. 22 valence, 11 pairs. So the first thing you're gonna do is connect those three iodines together. Halogens typically have three pairs of lone pairs. So after I've placed those lone pairs, I've got three, four, five, um, eight of those 11 pairs. So here's the ninth pair. And then the 10th and 11th pair have to be placed on the center atom, that's the rules. And that makes that iodine in the center have 10 electrons in its bonds or lone pairs, which are five pairs around the iodide right here. And again, that's what makes it have an expanded octet. Again, it doesn't matter if they're bonds or lone pairs, it still has 10. Um, the original electron geometry of the triiodide ion is trigonal bipyramidal. However, when you have the electron lone pairs you end up with a linear molecular geometry because those are not included. The sulfur hexafluoride is an easier one. It's an octahedral electron geometry and an octahedral molecular geometry. So there you go, chemists. Good luck. Hopefully you have a better understanding of what an expand octet is.